Next, we're going to look at uh, pressure switch. As the name implies, it is just a switch. We have two leads on here, which are normally open, so it will not allow any current to pass between those two, unless, let me turn this over, we get a certain amount of pressure on it, and in this case, um, we're looking at, oh, there it is, 0.33 inches of water column. So that's what we're going to measure here, and I'm going to just do a little trick, and we're going to put our leads on here, and we're going to show that this is normally open, and then rearrange the camera angle, and I'm going to suck on it, and you'll actually hear that the leads close. Now, how we'll do that with our multimeter, we're still back over here with our field piece, SC66. We're going to check continuity, which is the little section up here with the alarm indicator on it. So we're going to just switch that to continuity. And what that means is when the two leads here connect, it's going to sound off an alarm. And I'll just uh, set this down and show you exactly what I mean by that. So we're going to check continuity across the uh, pressure switch. And I've got my field piece set to continuity, which is the little alarm signal here. And let me just show you how that works. For continuity, we're just looking to make sure that the electricity can pass from one line to the other. And when I connect the two, an alarm goes off telling me that we have true continuity between the two leads. Okay, or a continuous circuit. Alright, so I'm going to check, hand, uh, connect this to the pressure switch on the two leads here. And as you can see, it is connected. And we have no alarm coming from the multimeter. But when the rubber hose is connected here and the induced fan motor is, is actually working properly, we'll create a vacuum on the hose through this and, and actually displace a diaphragm inside the pressure switch, which will connect the two leads together. Now, let me just show you how that works. So the vacuum in the, in the switch connects the two leads. We have continuity across here, which means this switch is telling us that the induced fan motor is working properly and creating enough vacuum uh, to pull the, the burner flames through the burners or the, um, the actual flames through the burner. So that is how you check continuity on this. Now, um, it goes into more, you can get into more detail on exactly how much pressure is actually being applied. You can put a manometer on here with a Y joint and you can gauge the actual vacuum that you're doing and make sure that the um, specification on the switch matches uh, the actual value that the switch is giving you. So that's how you do that.